So we're going to be rolling two six-sided dice, and we want the probability of not getting a sum of eight. So let's work this out carefully. So solution. So the probability of not getting a sum of eight. Well, that's really hard to think about because if it's not a sum of eight, then it's a sum of two, a sum of three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten, etc., all the way to twelve. So that's too many possibilities. So whenever that happens, whenever it's too hard, it's better to consider the following. This is one minus the probability of the complement. So what is the complement? Well, in English, that would be the opposite. So the opposite of not a sum of eight, or the complement of not a sum of eight is sum of eight. So it's one minus the negation of this statement. It's called the complement in mathematics. So this is equal to one minus, and this will be a fraction, and in the numerator, we're going to have the number of ways to get a sum of 8. So how many ways can you get a sum of 8? Well, you can get a 4 on the first die and a 4 on the second die. Or, let's see, a uh, 3 on the first die, 5 on the second die, 5 on the first die, 3 on the second die. What else? 6. 6 and 2 work. And 2 and 6 also work. And I believe that's it. Yeah, there's no 7, so we can't do 1 and 7. And you only count 4 and 4 twice. Why? Well, 4 on the first die, 4 on the second die, 4 on the second die, 4 on the first die. You just said the same thing twice. It's, uh, it's ridiculous. So it looks like we have 5 ways to get a sum of 8. Now, how many ways can the 2 die land together? Well, this will be the first die. This will be the second die. There's six ways for the first die to land, six ways for the second die to land. By the multiplication rule, the number of ways they can land together is 36. This is equal to 36 over 36. Writing 1 is 36 over 36, so that we have the same denominator so we can subtract. Right? That's all we did there. And 36 minus 5 is 31. So you get 31 over 36.